There's a lot along this route that relate to Ulster Scots. You've got um, the strand, uh, you've got a pad, and another term for that would be a path or a path, effectively. Uh, also, rodden is a good Scots word, uh, which is a name for an unpaved uh, road, so uh, often made by uh, sheep or cattle in the countryside would be a rodden. Uh, but that's a good old Scots word, it's used by Robert Burns and by other poets uh, as well, and we have it over on this side of the channel too. Uh, you've also got Wynn Bushes, a name for gorse, effectively. You've got uh, little rivers or, or streams, which we call burns, uh, over here. Uh, so a wee burn would be just a small uh, stream. And if you, if you were in a bad weather condition, you might find around the stream that there'd be a lot of glar, which we would refer to sometimes as, as clabber, you could be clabbered uh, if you get it, get stuck in the middle of all that. So there's there's lots of these uh, words and, and things like uh, thon and thonder are good Scots terms as well. Something that's across the way is over thonder or over thonor. Uh, even the, the, the very term for a walk itself is usually called a wee dander uh, or a wee danner is more often. The D is usually dropped in Ulster Scots, they, they, don't, they just pronounce the N so it's a wee danner along the pad. And if you manage to, to carry out this walk and, and get through this walk from Dunseverick and, and back again then, there's a fair chance that you might well be bluttered, which is a good old term for feeling pretty tired.